Pumpy Pump. The Brumbies, the horses that roam the Australian outback. They are tough, smart and well adapted to some of the worst conditions this country can throw at them. Just like the submersible pumps that bear their name. The Brumby pump was designed to withstand some of Australia's worst operating conditions. If they can survive here, they will survive anywhere. The Brumby pump is a submersible that won't corrode, seize or burn out. Insulation is very quick and simple. All you need is a coupling, a compressor, and you may already have one, some piping, preferably poly piping, which makes the whole installation very simple, simple tools, and you may or may not require a controller. For an example of an average installation, this bore is 25 meters deep, has 21 meters of water in it, is 450 meters away from the tank which it's delivering to. The tank is around 15 meters higher than the top of the bore and the small 10 CFM compressor is delivering over 1000 litres per hour. To show you how simple and cheap an installation can be, a situation where the water is deep and the lift is low, a pump will just run straight off a compressor. Once all the piping has been securely connected, the pump can be lowered down into the water on the end of the piping. Once the pump is set and secured and the air line connected at the compressor, just turn the compressor on and after a little while you're delivering water. If you should ever need to remove your pump from a bore or well, it's easily done. You just start your compressor, 
and unless it's an exceptionally deep well, the pump will just help you along and come up out of the hole. And you pull up the rest as you go. Like our wonderful wild horses, the Brumbeat pump is tough, adaptable and versatile and it'll be around for a long time. I'm Tom Cress. I want to show you how you can clean out a silted up well or ball using a Brumby pump. This old S1 pump here, it's been down my bore for a good number of years. Still works perfectly well. And um, it'll keep working perfectly well for a long time yet. But to clean out the silt out of the bottom of my bore and to make it deeper again, it's very simple. I need to do a small modification. This cap down here. I've got to prise it off with a screwdriver. It can be a little bit difficult um, because it's stuck on in a couple of little spots. But if you slightly damage your strainer, it doesn't really matter. And um, unless you're expecting uh, big dead critters to be sucked up through the, uh, um, through the pump at some point, it's not even that important if you put that strainer cap back on. So we take this off so the bottom is open. And then we reinstall the pump, just as we did before, but we need a bit of extra piping at the top because we're going to push it down further. So this can be pushed down into the silt, jiggled around, stir up the silt, and it'll just pump it up. And you just keep feeding it down as your well gets deeper. And you'll see in a minute just how that works. So if you're already using a Brumby S1 pump, just take the lid off and you can clean out your ball, make it deeper, you'll be able to set your pump deeper for more delivery and you'll be able to have more water flowing back into your ball. If you don't have a Brumby pump already, maybe you ought to get one. Very simple. So we're clearing out this well and um, we've got the cap off the bottom of the pump and we're just going to keep working it down and you can feel it sucking up the silt in the bottom and putting it down further you can see that the bottom is getting deeper very quickly sucking this stuff up in quite a, quite a hurry In just a couple of minutes, we've sucked out a couple of feet of silt out of the bottom of the well. I'll just leave it to clear out for a little bit and then we can move that stop and we can go further. So as you can see, we're bringing a whole lot of dirt and mud to the surface out of the bottom of that well. It's making it deeper, it's going to perform better and it's not hurting the Brumby S1 pump one little